Today is my fame Wednesday. I know I was not here on Tuesday because, um, one, I didn't really have anything planned for Tuesday, and two, stuff came up so I couldn't do it. And um, what I also want to say is next week I'm going to be taking a break. Reason being is because it's one of those weeks where it's like, you know, you got to take a break because, you know, reacclimate yourself and all that stuff. And plus, it's going to be a really busy week for, um, like, I got to help my mom with certain things, and I got to do my granddad with certain things, so it's going to be very, 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 very busy. So, I'm not going to be here for a whole next week, but trust me, believe the following week after that, I will be here. But today, we are going to be eating a sausage, McGriddle, no egg, no cheese, with some apple juice. Do some. I start. I should start doing a little bit more breakfast my days, but the thing is, is I don't really eat breakfast like that. I don't really get up in the morning and eat like that. I literally only have two meals a day, two meals a day, lunch and dinner. That's it. That's probably not healthy or good for me. I really should be having three meals a day, but it's like two meals a day. Honestly, I'm not hungry. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hungry as I should be because usually for lunch and dinner I usually eat a good portion of food for lunch and dinner so either way I'm still getting some fuel and energy in me so I'm probably still good but I, I eventually I need to get out of that habit though I need to get out of that habit of just eating um lunch and dinner I need to get back in the habit of eating breakfast lunch and dinner because I used to do that when I was in school, and I used to do that all throughout the year for Project Search. But ever since I started working, and I have had to work, I was able to work in the afternoon instead of the morning, I've been lacking. I've been getting up later, you know. Because my mindset is this. If I don't have to be at the motherfucking job until 3, why should I have to get up at 7 or 8 in the morning? What's the point? You know? Whereas I can sleep in until 9 or 10, get up, chill for a little bit, eat lunch, chill for a minute, and then get a shower, and then get to work. And either way, when I'm there, I'm not tired. I'm not tired at all. So it's like, it's kind of a win win situation for me, but I don't know. Y'all comment down below. What do y'all think I should do? Should I? Y'all think I should change my lifestyle up? And y'all think I should start eating three meals a day? And do you guys think I should be getting up early? Y'all comment down below and tell me what you feel. How you feel? Because I don't know. It's just that's just how I'm thinking, and I don't know if it's a rational decision I'm making. So y'all comment down below and help me out on this, and tell me y'all opinions on the situation, or tell me if you guys are in the same situation as me, and you understand where I'm coming from. If you work in afternoons or midnight or some like shit like that, late at night or something, then some of y'all kind of understand where I'm coming from. Especially if you're at a job where you're on your feet for six, seven, or eight hours. Like if you got a job where you on your feet all day, like it, like if you're like if you're sitting down, then I mean, but then again, sitting at a desk for six hours or more can be tiring as well because shit, we all did it in school. We all had to do it in school every period. Every fucking period, six periods at school. The only time we didn't sit down was either PE, lunch, recess, or if we were 
or, or if we were walking to our next class, but that was it. But most of the day, we were just sitting and doing our schoolwork. So, that's the thing, you know. And that's another thing. I don't like, I used to, like I said, I've touched on this before, but I don't like sitting at a certain place for a long time unless I'm actually doing something that I enjoy. Like if I'm watching something or something like that, if I'm actually enjoying something or I'm playing a game, fine. But if I'm just sitting there or I'm doing some work or something like that, I get fidgetive. I get fidgetive and I start to like, ugh. Like it just, and it's such a surprise how much I got through the years that I even got through my school years. From grammar school to high school, it's a, it's really good a shock because if anybody who knows me knows that, yeah, I that was that was a struggle. To this day, it's a struggle, and I don't know if you'll ever get better, but it's just it's one of my pet peeves, I should say, or I don't even know if I want to call it a pet peeve, but it may be something else. But I'm gonna stick to pet peeve for now. Um, yeah, that's one of my pet peeves, y'all. I don't like sitting somewhere a long time unless I'm enjoying something or I'm invested in what I'm doing. Like, if I feel like this is a waste of time and I'm just sitting here, like, no. Mm -mm. That was mainly in school. But what kid didn't go through that? What kid didn't go through that in school? What kid wanted to sit in class, bored as ever, listening to a teacher talk about something that they didn't care about or didn't relate to them? What kid didn't have that experience or had that issue or struggled with that issue throughout his years? Shoot. Why do you think we motherfuckers get lower Gary's? Why do you think motherfuckers got um, F's and D's? Because they weren't invested. Because you want to know why? They say it's mainly on the children. But, yes, it is. Because you gotta try hard enough. But then again, it also falls on the teacher. Because the teachers make it boring. The teachers make it boring. They don't make it fun or interesting. Especially as a teenager or a high schooler. Like, our energy is already like, you know? So it's like, you gotta, like, when you're talking about something, you gotta make it fun. You gotta give examples. You got to make, you got to speak our language in a way. You know what I mean? And they don't do that. They just kind of like, okay, this and that, this and that. Here, finish it up. Basically it, you know? It's like, they ain't happy to be there themselves, but if you ain't happy, then why'd you work there? And if you're going to be there, at least make it fun or relative or modern to where kids can understand or relate in a way. Like, I had this one teacher, my psychology teacher. This, that was one of my favorite classes in high school. But um, PE was my main favorite class because, you know, that was where all my friends was there. And I, I got to hang out and chop it up with them and we got to do all kind of fucked up shit and all that. You know, you, you know, we chill and shit. But my favorite class in high school, through all my four years... I think my junior and senior year were harder, but my senior year, one of my favorite, one of my favorite classes besides PE was psychology. I went to Millennium High School on Goodyear in Goodyear, Arizona. Anybody who's went to Millennium High School, or if y'all know me, hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Um, yeah, anybody who went to Millennium High School, y'all know what psychology class I'm talking about. If any of y'all have been in a class of, of psychology where he had Mr. Um, what the fuck was his name? It, it had a G in it. It's crazy how I've been out of high school for a year. I forgot this motherfucker's name. I should remember it because I enjoy his class so much. But it's a, it's a really hard name to remember. Uh, Mr. Gaines? No, it's not Mr. Gaines. 
what the fuck is his name? I'm, I'm getting pissed because it's like, how the fuck did I not remember this nigga's name? Oh, shit. It had a G in it, so I'm going to just go with Mr. G. That motherfucker was so down to earth. And he, he just, you know, his energy was like, okay. And the way he talked about certain things, he talked about it in a modern way where we all can understand it. You know, and some of the activities that he had, it was actually fun. Everybody named Mama wanted to be in that motherfucking class. I was like, you know, and I didn't understand it at first. Cause obviously, I wasn't in his class, like, freshman, sophomore, junior year. So, obviously, I didn't understand it. And I was like, why the fuck they go over there? I was like, what is he, what, what the hell is he bringing to the table? That was my, that was my attitude. But when I signed up for it, and I got in his class, I only did psychology for the first semester of junior year. When I quit, when I get in there my first day, the whole first week in general, well, I would say the first two days of school, because the um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I had to take off, because you know, my uncle Eugene's funeral and everything, so I had to take off that first half of the week of school. So, you know, like, RIP. Um, but that's a story for a whole other day. Um, but yeah, the first two days, I, I was hooked. I was hooked. You know, I could have did it the second semester, but I was like, okay, this was cool and everything. I like it, but then um, I wanted to go to PE. I wanted to do PE with my friends and everything because I felt, I felt some type of way. All my friends were sitting there, but I wasn't. So I signed up for PE, and I ended up doing that the second semester until March when I had to stop going to school, and that was the last time I went to school. Um, but other than that, psychology, I loved it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. The teacher was, and the teacher was not mean, the teacher was not, there was nobody in that school that's been in his class or has encountered him in general can ever say that nigga was mean, that that nigga was ever mean. Nobody can, nobody can say that shit because that nigga was never mean. And I hate to say it, call him a nigga all the time because, you know, he is just, he's a grown ass adult, but I'm just saying, you know, that's just how I talk. But, um, yeah, he was never mean as hell. He never gave off, like, horrible, degrading vibes or shit like that. You know, he was just very down to earth, and everybody liked turning around him. Shit. He was one of the most famous teachers at that school. He was that teacher that everybody went to if they had a problem or if they were struggling with something. He was that teacher where... You know, they could trust him if they if he told if they told him something. Well obviously I well I'm not gonna say that because obviously it's it's really, really bad. He, of course he's gonna have to go to the principal to let them know, you know, he can't he can't be like that. But um like in general, like for help or if he cheat or if somebody cheated on something, you know, he ha he have he'll have advice for you. You know, like he I liked him because he was just he was, he was cool on me, you know, because there's certain things that I needed help on. And he was willing to work through it with, with me. So it was like, you know, teachers like that, I like. Because, you know, they're not, they're not assholes. Because most teachers are assholes. Mainly because they don't like the job. But again, if you don't like the job, why the fuck are you working at a high school? Shit. If you don't have patience for kids, how the fuck do you think you're going to have patience for teenagers? Because teenagers are way worse. Shit. Kids are kids. Teens are like young adults. So it's like, I never understood that shit. Mm. Mm. I'm cool. But, um, yeah. But that's that. Um, school, school. It was cool. It was nice. I went on an Instagram live with my um. Why well, I was in the chat, listening to my friend and her friend 
talk about school and all that. And it was just like, it was like, if you, if you had to go back in time and do it all over again, would you do it? And obviously my friend said no, because she hated that. She hated it more than me. But it's like, then again, I don't. But on a, on a flip side, I would, because if I could go back, I could change a lot of things. But um, that's not possible. But if I could, I would. Speaking of my friend, um, me, my friend, okay, me, my friend Shannon, my friend uh, Kai, my friend Alonzo, and my other friend uh, Jose, my other friend Amanda and her boyfriend, so it's going to be um, me. Okay, so it's going to be seven of us trying to rent out a house to get a house. We're going to try to get a two-story we're trying to focus on getting a um, five-bedroom, but me personally, I really think we should go go and get this six-bedroom house that I saw. Reason being is because everybody would have a room, but either that or this other house that I saw, but it has five bedrooms, but there's this extra room that's like an office room kind of vibe, but it's not like an office office room, you know. It's, it could be considered a, a um, guest room as well where somebody could stay in it, but they just wouldn't have a closet. They would just have to put their clothes in their drawer. Or unless they want to be, they don't have like a, like, you know, one of those hang wrap hanger stuff and put their clothes on there like that. I mean, I know, I know like one, I know like one person out of the people that's going to be staying there that would just put their shit in, um, in, uh, in a dresser. So if we go with that, then that person could stay in that room. Um, and that's my friend Jose, but, um, yeah, me and my friends are supposed to be starting to look at houses and I will be taking you guys on a journey. So we may be getting some house hunting videos, house hunting videos. So, um, I can't wait. I haven't, like I said, I haven't told my family yet, but, um, I'm waiting for the right time to let them know about it because, um, you know. Not that I need permission or none of that. It's just when it comes to the fam and all that, I kind of want. I I honestly mainly want to just surprise them because I usually ask them for help for certain things and all that, and I kind of want to do this on my own. Well, I have my friends with me, but you know, still, I kind of want to do this on my own and um, not have to worry about um handouts and shit like that. It's a, it's a pride thing. But, um, yeah. So, that's what's going to be happening. So, 2022, much to come. I hope you guys enjoy this video because I'm going to get out here. But, uh, what I'm going to need y'all to do is I'm going to need y'all to like. I'm going to need y'all to comment. And I'm going to need y'all to subscribe. Hit that bell for those fish while I'm up for the fingers. And I will see you in the next video. Deuces, nigga!